A modern 2x4 is 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches. But why? In fact, why is all dimensional lumber not the size it says it is? To find out, we need to go back to the 1800s. Back then, wood was a locally sourced commodity. Mills sold rough lumber, which varied in width and thickness. It had to be surfaced and shaped to its final dimensions by the carpenters on the job site. Since wood shrinks as it dries, even these old rough cut 2x4s ended up being a little smaller than 2x4 inches. Over time, the forests near large cities were depleted and trees had to be cut farther and farther away. This meant the lumber had to be shipped by rail, which drove up the price because it was expensive. Around the same time, the steam engine was allowing for major advances in milling. This gave manufacturers an idea. They decided they would surface the lumber before it shipped, instead of leaving that to the customer. This meant that each board weighed less and they could ship more boards for the same cost. However, it also meant the boards were smaller than their name implied. This practice caught on quickly and mills all over the country began selling pre-surfaced lumber. However, there was no national standard for the final sizes, so you could buy 2x4s from two different suppliers and get two different sized boards. Lumber sellers eventually got fed up at having to carry multiple variations of each size, and they asked the U.S. Department of Agriculture to step in. Working with the industry, they determined that surfacing 3 16 of an inch off each side was acceptable. So a 2x4 became 1 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. Decades later, partially due to the economic pressures of World War II and the housing boom that followed, those standards were revised down to the standards we have today.